Cena's here. She's just one of 25 finalists, but maybe the right one. We don't know. It only takes one, right? Uh, competing to become one, uh, competing to become our next uh, home and family DIY star. She's all the way from Westchester, New York. Lori Diner, welcome. Hi. Good to have you here. Laura, describe yeah. your DIY style. Do you DIY? First of all, I do a little oh, bit. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, then you came to the right place. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's DIY yeah. dish out there. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Describe your style. So my DIY. style, it's very easy and affordable. So I love helping people take their homes from sort of eh to like wow, right? Okay. But in re a really easy way. Okay. This yeah. Is good? Oh, yeah. Do you describe my house as eh? No, I love I think, your house. Do you think it's ah? No, I think it's ah. Oh. oh, it's ah. It's aww. very nice. I, That's what I we thought to... when we saw your video. We <laughs> now we went, oh, this is great. She's got to come here and do this. So let's take a look at the video that got you here. Hey guys, I'm Lori, and I'm a mom and a decorator, and I'm a DIY expert. So when I heard that Home and Family was looking for a DIY guest star, I thought, oh my God, that should be me. And my focus is always on easy and affordable ideas that literally anybody can do. Of course, being a decorator, I dream up all kinds of home-related DIY projects that can take somebody's space from sort of eh to wow. I'm really passionate about this stuff and I really believe that anybody can make their lives even better by just rolling up their sleeves and making something really beautiful for their families. Oh. Well, that's what you're going to do here today. You're going to take us from eh to ah here with these beautiful curtains you're yes. doing. And she's making them with vegetables. Mm. Yes. I saw that. Yeah. 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 So what materials do we need so to make this? It's really easy. I mean, all you need are curtain panels. And I actually do recommend 100% cotton, something that's a little thicker. Because, Why? Yes. Well, polyester, um, the paint can run. Uh -huh. So, you know, like these are really thick. You can, you know that the paint's going to hold. Sure. Um, so I do re recommend like a ready-made cotton curtain panel. Um, acrylic paint, very easy. The and a garden. And a garden. That's exactly. all we need. It's a garden. It's a garden. All you need to do is raise your refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. Because I've used vegetables as That's a stamp. amazing. I yes. can't believe looking at this. Wow. Well, you use the, ed the edge of the vegetables, too, that most people don't eat or they make soup out of. Right. So it's not like you're wasting vegetables. Exactly. You're yeah. cutting off that end anyway. And you'll see yeah. the, the celery makes a beautiful rose, as does the bok choy. Well, let's, so, oh, yeah. We, we saw you here earlier working. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look at that. Yeah. So all you have to do is make sure that your vegetables are clear of dirt, wash them first and I just hacked off the bottom, made a beautiful rose, as you can see. There's the bok choy. And also beautiful. corn actually makes a really cool pattern that I'll show you in a minute. And by the way, here's a great tip. You want to find veggies and fruit that are low water content because you what? don't want the water and the juice to get all mixed up in the paint. Oh, right. oh, and that's okra. That makes a really pretty um, daisy pattern. Sure. And I just use plain acrylic paint, super easy. I'm going to paint the paint right onto the celery um, to make a really thin coat. Press it on and you're done. Like that's it. That's like it. Little roses yeah. everywhere. It's little roses. Beautiful. And you'll see the curtain is um, the de the design is throughout the curtain, but you don't have to do that. You could just do like one little line right. if you wanted. Yeah. Right. So you can do whatever right. you want. Yeah. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Very simple. How long Very do we have to leave it to dry? To dry? Um, I mean, about 20, 30 minutes if you're in a hot, dry climate. But here's a really fun tip: after you're done, you can actually hang it on the rod to dry it. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Well, you right. Have other designs here. So what yeah. other designs other design. can you so use? So you don't just have to use yeah. vegetables. And actually, if you all want to start and help me sort of make some patterns I here, yeah. let's use stuff. So um, the celery okra. was the rose. I no. mean, Not okra. Okra. Uh, okra. 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 <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> okra. It's a common mistake. No. OK. Um, so yeah, the okra is actually great to use. It's a little daisy pattern. But you can also use regular household yeah. products. So you'll see the bottom of this bottle um, is a cute little daisy. And also the, the toilet paper rolls makes a really cool almond shape. I just squeezed it in the middle. See mm -hmm. that? And you just uh -huh. okay. and and pinched it down. And exactly. Made it I just yeah. pinched it down. <gasps> Look how pretty. And Look. Joe, don't be shy. Go ahead and pick something yeah. up. He's so trying to figure out how to say this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is this? this, is, this now is I'm going to go for the, uh, the strings. I'm <laughs> okay. going to go for the strings. No I strings actually, attached. I love this. This is a bar of soap. And I just wrapped yarn around it. It makes the coolest pattern. You wouldn't See, believe it. I couldn't it. do that. I, my boys would never do that because they're allergic to soap. Apparently. And, oh, is that right? <laughs> well, oh, 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 right. I'm like, did you really do you soap in the shower? Because it doesn't you. smell like that. Right. Um, and so the key here is really just to put on a thin coat of paint, really smooth. Notice I didn't dump like it into the paint. Yeah, yeah. I actually paint brush the paint on so you can control how much paint. So okay, go ahead. I and you push it down, 
just for a few seconds, even pressure, and then I'm just gonna pull it up all at once, and it's a nice, even coat. When you do, when you're doing oh. the pattern, oh, is it just- God, that's a good Oh, that's question. a great yeah. one. Oh, that was yeah, a really, a good, really one. good one. Yeah, mine didn't work out when you well do, When you do the pattern, you're actually not trying to make a pattern, you're trying to be irregular with the print? So I like it being irregular. I think it's that's really pretty and organic, and uh -huh. actually, so we like it here at Home and Family because we're all irregular. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, excuse nice. me? Well, excuse well, me, what? Yeah. Oh, we oh, work I, I, about I that. did. I did. <laughs> I can stamp you. Well, oh, actually, this is a really great tip. You can really use your, your fingers and stuff as well, right? <laughs> You can fingerprint. Yeah, so yeah, this, fingerprint. This is actually a really good tip. You paint it first, stamp it once. So you yeah. see, I just stamped it on there, and then stamp it again. So you, the paint okay. lasts you for two tries. Two stamps. Oh, okay, that's two stamps. Nice. But now, if you do, oh, Wait. that's really good. Wait, oh, I love that. Oh, okay. I've never seen corn used like that, and I'm from Iowa. Yeah, would, yeah. We would never. Uh, but by the third time you stamp it, you'll see it's faded too much. Too so much. Just, so you want to. So you want to do it two times. Are okay, these? Um, you said about 20, 25 minutes to dry, yeah, right? 20, 25 minutes mm -hmm. to dry. And then if you had to clean these or something. Thing, would it come off or is this Ooh, gonna? That is a great point. So yeah. acrylic mm -hmm. paint that I recommend, uh -huh. you cannot wash the fabric. So what you okay. wanna do oh, okay. is use fabric paint, which is washable. If you want to wash your fab, if you want to wash if your curtains. If you need to, okay. Yeah, that looks fantastic. You want to host for me because I want to finish, I want to play with this. This is fun. And Joe, you're very talented. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Made that. I know. See, that's, that's a flag of your new that. language. Yeah, exactly. I love that's that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Hieroglyphics. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. How look much? How what are we talking here? I mean, under a hundred bucks. Really, your only cost are the vegetables, a little bit of paint, and then the no, curtains, right? So curtains, yeah. you can get ready-made curtains, cotton, from like a big box retailer. Yeah. You know, sure. $19.99 a panel. Love that. Really inexpensive.